Georgia farmers are always striving to produce more product with fewer inputs. And one way that farmers can do this is by implementing precision agricultural technologies that allow producers to optimize their farm's output. Monitor's Mark Wildman visited one UGA researcher working on different technologies to boost a farmer's bottom line. At the University of Georgia's Tifton campus, Dr. George Validus works on technology that can save farmers big bucks. In Georgia, farmers are very dependent on irrigation to produce crops, but not every field requires the same amount of water, and not every part of the field requires the same amount of water as well. That's why he and his team have researched these low-cost soil moisture sensors that farmers can deploy to make sure they are getting the most benefit at the least cost out of their irrigation. For example, a sandy soil will hold less water, will dry out more frequently than a clay soil. So what we want to do is develop a soil moisture sensing system that will allow farmers to understand what the soil water condition is in their fields and capture that variability, understand what's going on throughout their field. Not assume that an average soil moisture value will do well, but optimize the way they use irrigation water across the field. Moisture sensors are not new. But the technology developed here at UGA has greatly improved this very important tool for farmers. We've used um, traditional soil moisture sensors that have been on the market for quite some time. They're called watermark sensors. We've incorporated three of them into a probe, which allows us to measure soil moisture, soil moisture at three unique depths. Right now they're at increments of 8 inches, so at 8, 16, and 24 inches. But our unique contribution has been the way we send the information wirelessly back to a web server. And so we've developed a very low power radio um, that, uh, and a circuit board that powers the soil moisture sensor and the radio for two, with two AA batteries for the whole growing season. And so the farmer can install these things in the field and never have to come back to them until the end of the growing season. Our design also incorporates a flexible spring antenna which allows the farm vehicles to pass right over these sensors and not have to go around them. So it makes farming with the soil moisture sensors a lot easier. The research fields that are using these sensors are able to monitor their soil moisture via a computer program being developed called the Flint River Scheduling Tool. So our soil moisture sensing system is designed to allow them to capture this information and be able to access it from their smartphones, from a computer, um, you know, from any internet capable source. These new sensors, coupled with variable rate irrigation technology, will allow farmers to customize their irrigation practices, thus saving water and money. Some preliminary data that we have show that by using so much of sensors, you can save a lot of water. Um, you know, a safe estimate is 10 to 20 percent, but on occasion we've seen numbers much higher than that. These new sensors he is working on with the help from the Flint River Soil and Water Conservation District and grants from NRCS are not available commercially yet. But uh, a, a company is signing a license agreement with the University of Georgia to commercialize this technology. So we hope by the 2015, this particular form of the sensors will be available to the, to the public. Another technology that Dr. Validus feels can greatly benefit Georgia producers are these yield sensors. They generate yield maps. But Dr. Validus has taken the yield maps one step further and created profit maps. What I do is I take the yield information I multiply it by the price of the commodity at the time that the farmer is harvesting and subtract from that the production cost and I typically use what the extension services uh, estimate are the production costs for that year. And that produces a map that shows the variability of profit in the field. And it's very typical to see that up to 30% of a field is not profitable. This means that the farmer who farms this field is losing money by farming up to 30% of the area in that field. He feels farmers in Georgia can greatly benefit from this mapping technology. Uh, my philosophy on this is that precision agriculture uh, brings farming into the information age. So it provides, it's all tools about, uh, that provide information to the farmer. And the farmer can use this information to make better decisions about how to improve the efficiency of the operation. And improved efficiency means improved profits. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.